Hey, it's Sarah here. Um, this video is just a short tutorial to show you how you can improve the mobility, flexibility and strength of your hips with cars. So roll out your mat, it won't take long and I'll see you then. Okay, car stands for controlled articular rotations. So this means that we're working the joint through its full range of motion very slowly and with precision. And the movements are really simple, but if you get it right and you don't rush and you pay attention, you can really not only learn more about your hips, but also improve their mobility, their flexibility and their strength. So we're going to come into all fours. Now, if you have any wrist issues, then there are a couple of things you can do. Grab a couple of blocks and hold the ends of them. That takes the strain out of the wrist quite nicely. Or if that's not your cup of tea, you can come onto your fists. And there is a third one. You can come down onto your forearms. So, you know, play around with whatever position suits you. And then we're going to come to all fours, spread the fingers, push the floor away and find that upper rotation with your hands and try and keep it going through the whole of this movement. It will help to stop you dumping in the upper body, which obviously after a while is going to get extremely uncomfortable, as well as causing a few aches and pains, which obviously we don't want. So once you are there, we're going to start with the left side first. So I'm going to really press down through my right toes and squeeze my right hip in for stability, okay? I really don't want that supporting leg just shuffling and moving about while I'm focusing on the left. So I'm just going to squeeze everything in. And then when I'm ready, keeping my pelvis nice and level, so I'm going to pull the hips in and up a little bit, lengthen my tailbone down so I can feel my belly switch on. We're going to pick up the left knee. From there, we're going to draw it forwards, so this is flexion. Then we're going to take it out to the side, this is abduction. And then we're going to rotate it back, so it's going to be a bit of external rotation, we call it. And then we're going to kick, a bit like a donkey kick, the heel up towards the sky. This is extension. And then we're going to roll it in, a bit of internal rotation. And then once we're down, we're going to squeeze the legs together. That's abduction. So, so let's try that again. Draw it forwards, take it out to the side, come back, squeeze it up, come down and squeeze the legs together. Come forward, take it out and round, squeeze it up come on down and then squeeze the legs together. Two more. Last one. And then we're going to go the other way. So start neutral, we're going to squeeze the legs together, come back and then donkey kick up. Take it out to the side, forward and down, and squeeze, up, out, forward and down, and squeeze, up, out, forward and down, and squeeze, right, last one. Okay, so, as you can probably feel, it's quite hard work. I'm going to turn around so you can see the second side. And you may notice that your um, supporting leg was working quite hard and the supporting hip. So, you know, while you're working on articulating one side, you're strengthening um, the, the second side, which is pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty good. So, I'm going to find um our connection with the front body so spread the fingers wrap the backs of the upper arms push the floor away 
Press down through all five toenails on your left, squeeze the hip in, and then I'm going to gently draw the knee up. So it's a bit like you're sucking the leg bone up into the, the socket, and you don't want to move the back of your pelvis too much. This needs to stay as flat as possible so that when you're turning and working on that hip socket, you're actually using the hip muscles around the hip and not your back. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go start forward first and then take it round back, squeeze it up, come down, squeeze the legs together. So forward, out, up, down and together. Forward, out, up. You should get a really good squeeze of your buttock muscle with that part. Two more in this direction. Okay, last one. You just control it as much as you can. Notice any areas that feel a bit sticky as well. And then we're gonna take it the other way. So squeeze together, out, kick up, take it out, and then forward and down. So if that, if you do find these spots, slow down, just explore. See if you can get a little bit of an increased range of um, movement when you slow it down. You're also going to work a little bit harder. All right, so we're going to do the last one. So we want really five repetitions in both directions, so it's 10 each leg. All right, and that's it. So those are cars. They are controlled articulations of a joint, which help to support its mobility, flexibility, and strength.